Howdy folks and welcome to another episode of Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico inshore fishing television. I'm your host Randy Bowser. Today I'm really excited. We've made our way back to Celestun, Yucatan, Mexico and today my Captain Gary and I we're gonna go see, well we're just gonna see if we can put some fish on the line for y'all. So stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, The Unfair Advantage Yozerti, Fish the Best Eagle Claw Trocar and Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there Well, folks, we're going to start off this morning here in uh, this little entrada, this little ria that comes off the ocean. Uh, six, seven months ago when we were down here, we came in here, but it was really low tide and it just looked really fishy. Now, I've asked Captain Kino what uh, he thinks is in here and he's saying a little tarpon. So we're just going to check this out here for a little bit and then we're going to go see if we can target some snook and some trout. So. Uh, Hopefully the fishing gods are with us so we can catch us a tarpon this morning. That would be rocking. Not really seeing any tarpon moving. There's, there's a lot of water uh, action on the water, but I think it's more needlefish and mojadas, little snappers. I'm not seeing any tarpon rolling. Well, really, as fishy as this looks, I'm not seeing any tarpon rolling back in here. There's a lot of, like I say, little needlefish action, little other little fish that are moving through here, but uh, not seeing any tarpon. Boy, I tell you what, this sure looks fishy. You'd think there'd be snook, trout, and tarpon back in here, but we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna scoop back out. We're gonna go target some trout. So y'all stay with us. We're gonna keep on fishing. Captain Gary's got him a fish on. Let's see what he pulls up from this five meter of water. Oh, big it. Is it good? It looks like a big trout, Gary. Ah, big old trout, man. Look at the size of her. Look oh, at yeah. the size of that one, Gary. He's thick. Sweet. Right on, Gary. Good job, buddy. That's a nice hog to start off with. Good solid three pound fish. So what we're doing is we're taking this, this lure and we're just kind of bouncing it off the bottom here. It's kind of a rocky, grassy bottom. So the idea is just to let her sink down and just work it off the bottom. Wait for that smackadoodle. I'm bass fishing Lake Washita in 20 feet of water. Bouncing my worm off the bottom. But we're not. We're in Celestun, Yucatan, Mexico. And yes, we have our DOA soft plastics. And yes, we are bouncing them off the bottom. Targeting the speckled sea trout. Oh, 
All right, Captain Gary's got another fish on. Another big trout, look at that. Good job, Gary. I think I'm gonna change to that orange tail as well. Bring it up. Let me point this one in the car. We're gonna have that one for lunch. It's a good size. On that DOA shad tail with the orange, pearl with the orange tail. Nice trout. Nice trout. All right, Gary. Good job, buddy. Yes, I know. I heard my cameraman just say it's two to nothing. Yes, that's why I bring Gary along because he catches fish. Yeah. Right, didn't you? All right, you got him that time, buddy. He came back for it three or four times. He nailed that. Came off. Oh, look at the size of that one. What? What? There's a good sized trout there. That was that pink one. <laughs> the DOA shad, shad tail. Not chartreuse, but pink. <laughs> right on. All right, very cool. So we've tried a couple of different spots here, uh, out here in the open. Kino's gonna back step just a little bit further. It is dead freaking calm out here right now, as you can see by the water. Which means here in the Yucatan, it is steamy, steamy hot. So we're gonna try one more spot out here, see if we can put a few more trout in the boat. Then we're gonna work our way inshore and we're gonna see if we can target some snow. And make the boat go fast so it'll get a little breeze and cool us off. It's not a big one. Well, it might be. Yes, yeah, a chiquito. A little chiquito banana. Little tiny one. This is a male. You can hear him grunting. You hear that? That's how you know a male and a female corvina or trout is the males make the grunting sound. And they're typically smaller. Oh, that's a good trout. Oh, that's a good trout, y'all. That's a good trout. Ah. All right, Gary, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Come on, buddy. Another trout. Another trout. All right. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Gary, you want to snack a little bit? All right, so that's two to one. Captain Kino's definitely put us on the, on the trout, which I just find so amazing. You know, we're out here in this all this open area and they don't use a depth finder but they've been able to find the trout down below all right
kind of finished up our trout fishing out there. I wanted to go out and see if we can catch some. We did, we got some for lunch and that's awesome. Now we're gonna do a little trolling and take our Yozertis. Mind you, we have 30 pound Yozerti Super Braid with a 40 pound uh, floral carbon. So we're gonna try to get Barracuda and hopefully they don't cut through this, but uh, we're gonna just go do a little trolling and see what kind of luck we have. the troll in just a little bit no hungry barracudas that's fine we're gonna work our way back inshore now and we're gonna see if we can get us uh, some snoop as we say in Spanish robalo well hopefully the fish gods are with us inshore and we'll get a big snook on the line for you stay tuned here we go You know, you want to grab the oh there you go you got it you got a tail hook buddy a what i log it you got a tail hook catfish buddy boom <laughs> <laughs> boy and easy boat got him hooked into tail all right gary i'm not counting that one buddy <laughs> <laughs> Well, folks, that's going to wrap up the first half of this show. 
of Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan Mexico Inshore Fishing Television. We had some good luck out in the ocean there, a mile offshore with uh, those big trout. No barracuda wanted to smack and no tarpon and no snook on the inshore that we were hoping for. So y'all stay tuned when we come back. We're gonna be in Isla Arena. We're gonna take a short half hour trip out of Celestune on down to Isla Arena. And that'll be coming up next. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna keep on fishing for you. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. with Captain Kino. Gary and I are going to go see if we can, well, we're just going to see if we can put some fish on the line for y'all. So stay tuned. Three, two, one.